It's been about two months since my bedroom makeover challenge was completed. Our space is so relaxing now that we never want to leave, but there's just one catch. I wasn't really happy with the styling on one of the nightstands in that room, so today I decided that I was going to go shopping for some fun little items to change it up, and I'm going to bring you along with me when I do. My name is Sarah, and I'm always on the hunt for the latest vintage finds to style my home. Subscribe to be friends and to see more videos like this. So I'm at an antique store that I've been to often and I've found a lot of great stuff in the past. So what I'm looking for today is probably like a tall vase and then really whatever catches my eye because that's the most important rule. Just buy what you love. So we'll see if I can find anything like that. So I know I talk a lot about thrift shopping, and this is obviously not a thrift store, but I would say don't be afraid to come to antique stores because you can really find some good deals. You just have to weed, weed through the stuff until you do find those. Also, I've noticed at least personally that a lot of the shops that I go to, if you ask for at least 10% off the price tags, they will give that to you. is just start bringing up to the counter things that I like and then maybe just tell them that I'm still thinking about it but then that gives me an opportunity to just kind of like play around and see how they all look and then I'll just buy my favorite favorite ones and it's kind of pretty right and it's $25 there's a lot of stuff in my home that I've bought at antique stores, thrift shops, all the above that are kind of in storage right now because I don't have spots for them in my home. I'm hopefully working on getting more items on my Etsy shop to sell. So it is really hard for me when I'm shopping in a place like this and I see really good deals on things, but I have to remind myself that I don't want to become a hoarder. So if you're wondering why sometimes I don't buy things that I see, it's because of that. $495, so we're gonna pass on that. So this is really funny because I just found this if you look closely, it looks exactly like the one that I already have on my nightstand. Um, just a bigger version of it, which is actually what I'm looking for. Like, I'm looking for a bigger version of it. So, I think that's really weird. I've done one pass through of this entire like antique shop so now I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around again because I feel like sometimes on the second time around I see things differently um, so maybe I'll find some more stuff because I'm still not done So I think I'm ready to check out. So come on, let's go. So I'm not gonna get this, but I think I'm gonna get these things. What are antique or vintage shops like where you live? Are they just so expensive that you have to stay away? Or do you have a few that you like to frequent like myself? I'm pretty lucky to live near a lot of shops that are budget friendly and yeah, it's just fun to poke around. Now I am excited to show you the final little update I put together for my nightstand.
again, my name is Sarah. I make videos every Friday. And feel free to follow me on Instagram at Sarah Nealon if you also like to see pictures and Insta stories. Again, my name is Sarah. I just said that already. But I'll see you next week. Bye.